Uh, good morning, subscribers, viewers, and everyone. Uh, my name is Mkholis Nube. Uh, today, I'm going to do this short broadcast uh, conveying our deepest condolences on the passing on uh, of a soccer legend, Zimbabwean soccer legend, Charles Johanne. Uh, those who've been following uh, Zimbabwean soccer, South African soccer, and uh, African soccer in general would know who he is. Uh, he was a soccer player who first came into the limelight uh, playing for the now defunct uh, Fire Patriots, which was owned by uh, Love Moki Jima Msindo in Zimbabwe. Uh, he left a joint. He played also for Caps United before he left for South Africa, where he played for African Wanderers, Amazulu, and later on joined Caps United, I mean, uh, Vets United, Vets, uh, Pit Vets, Vets, uh, whom he played for to the extent of being appointed the team's captain. He also played for the Zimbabwe Warriors. Uh, you would remember that when Zimbabwe uh, made uh, its historic appearance in the African Nations Cup, Johanne was playing uh, left back for the national team. Uh, he also... Uh, when he retired from soccer, he coached the Vets developmental team, the Vets juniors. Uh, this is somebody who I interviewed a lot when I was still writing for South African soccer magazine Kickoff and uh, the Zimbabwean newspaper that I also worked for. So he's somebody that I got to know personally, somebody who was down to earth, somebody who was always willing to talk whenever you had an interview with him. He was always there willing to talk until you are done with the interview. Uh, now, the news that we're getting is that uh, Johanne was hijacked. Uh, some say he was uh, he had become a, a bolt up driver. He was hijacked. Uh, we don't know yet where exactly. And then he was hijacked during the weekend. And his body was only discovered on Monday with bullet wounds. Uh, we would like to pay our condolences to this soccer legend to this friend, to this uh, illustrious son of uh, the Zimbabwean soil. Uh, it also, his tragic death uh, also uh, reminds us of the need uh, to, 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 to rebuild our country. We're not saying that they can, I mean, there is no crime in Zimbabwe. We're not saying that uh, Crime can only be in South Africa, but we are saying that uh, had our situation back home uh, been, uh, uh, been sorted out, it was highly likely that Johan and several other soccer legends uh, of Zimbabwean uh, origin who are now playing outside the country, be it in South Africa or outside South Africa, would have invested back home uh, and maybe at some point uh, gone back home to run their businesses there, to start soccer teams there. Johanne was a coach, a qualified coach for that matter. You would have maybe li likely been coaching uh, back home in Zimbabwe. We are not trying to cast aspersions on South Africa, but we are saying that he is not the first person that we are, we are losing in this tragic circumstance because uh, of the crime that we know is happening in South Africa, which is higher at a, at a higher level than in Zimbabwe. Uh, so this is one of the things that should leave us uh, with a mission to, in a way, uh, pay tribute to the likes of Charles Johanne to, to try and uh, correct the situation back home so that our legends, when they retire, they are able to go back home so that our legends uh, who have lost their lives trying to act a living in South Africa uh, uh, are paid tribute to by sorting the situation back home in Zimbabwe so that their children will at, uh, at some point will go back to Zimbabwe so that their children at some point will not meet the same tragic death uh, that they met. We know that... Uh, Considering crime levels, uh, South Africa is not as safe uh, as one would have hoped it would be or a, one would have uh, thought uh, it should be. So because of the high number of, uh, of uh, uh, people that are living outside the lines of the law, 
uh, we are likely to continue uh, losing more Africans, continuing to losing more black people on these streets uh, where uh, crime is uh, always on the on the rise, where the crime levels are always on the rise. So uh, this is to pay tribute to uh, our hero, our fallen hero, uh, Charles Johan. Uh, the police, we know that police are always looking, are, are already looking for the people that are took his life in such a tragic manner. Uh, if you have anything that you would like, uh, or maybe to be passed over to the police, please uh, comment, send us uh, uh, comments via the comment section so that we assist the police, not only about uh, Johan, but everybody else that you would know about uh, who lost their lives so tragically, uh, somebody who has been a victim of crime, uh, please send your, 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 your views or your, your tip-offs via the comment section, we'll pass them over uh, to the relevant authorities. But uh, it's so worrying that uh, crime levels continue uh, rising in South Africa. They continue rising all over the African continent. It is something that we do not like to see happening. Uh, we have lost a legend. He is a, a true son of the African soil. He is somebody who deserved to be treated in a better way by any uh, peace-loving person, because we're not just talking about any uh, an ordinary person here. We are talking about somebody who entertained the people, somebody who made South African soccer better, somebody who made Zimbabwean soccer better, and somebody who made African soccer better. Thank you very much. We'll be back with other broadcasts, but for now we are paying tribute uh, to a soccer legend.